Hi, this is Vicki with the Paper Connection. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator in the United States and I'm so happy to be here with you today. Today I'm going to make this really lovely Happy Thanksgiving card. This is actually a window fold um, and I don't know if you can see it, there's wheat on the inside with that lovely little turkey, little Tom turkey. Um, and what I envisioned when I created the card was I wanted it to look like this was wallpaper in the house and this was your kitchen window and you're peeking out your kitchen window and you see oh, a turkey. How fun. Um, I'm going to do it a little bit differently. I'm not going to use the scalloped edges because this is not perfect and you can see it was kind of hard to line up. Um, but it's going to be beautiful and it's going to be fun. I'm using Days of Thanks stamp set and I'm also going to use the wheat from Gather to Gather. Now both of these come from the um, 2019 holiday catalog and if you have not received this catalog and you would like to and you don't currently have a Stamping Up demonstrator, then I would love to send one of these out to you. Um, it has the prettiest colors and um, I've said before I didn't know about these colors because I'm kind of a traditionalist when it comes to fall, but I love them and I'm having a blast with them. Love the stamp set and this turkey, the detail in the turkey is just so amazing and it's just so fun and it's packed this whole thing is packed with such beautiful projects and things that you can make. So um, my email will be at the end of this video and um, if you would like to have a copy of this catalog then let me know. Um, also if I'll just give you a little hint if there's so much in this catalog that you want to order that it's almost a hundred dollars then you could sign up as a hobby demonstrator and you could get hundred and twenty five dollars worth of goodies. Um, and I would love for you to be on my team. Um, we have a blast and we create and laugh and goof around and have a lot of fun. So anyway, enough of that. Let's get so started. Before we actually get started with our stamping, we're going to go ahead and we're going to cut out um, our the front. We're going to cut out our peekaboo hole. So um, let me bring my big shot in and I'll show you what we're going to do to do that. Okay, so I brought my big shot in. And um, what I'm going to do, because I'm going to cut both pieces out at the same time, I'm going to put a little bit of snail right here on the back of my designer series paper. And there's a pattern here, so you want to make sure that your pattern is going in the right direction, okay? So then you just put it in place where you want your paper to be. Okay, so then you just place it in like this. You open your card up like that. And you're going to take the smaller of the two ovals and I want to have room to put my sentiment down at the bottom which will go on here so you just kind of um, figure out where you want it to be then you put your plate which mine is a well-loved plate oops it just moved okay you have to be very careful pinch it in place and hold on to it so that it doesn't move Alright, so that cut the hole out of this and my cardstock. And you can see there's kind of a little ring around it. So what you're going to want to do there, because I want it, I don't want that to be seen, I have another piece of designer series paper that I'm going to bring in. And I want to um, I'm going to put a larger oval here. And then I'm going to put the smaller oval right inside and you want to make sure that it's even. If you don't have the magnetic block, it's a good idea to use washi tape to put that in place. Okay, now you're going to be really careful. You're going to pinch it in place so that it doesn't move. I think that's about right. And then you're just going to crank it backwards. And I'm going to do it twice on this one as well. And this is what you come out with. Okay, so we can go ahead and put this together and I'm going to use my Tombow glue for that. And either one would be pretty, but since I want it to look now like if I wanted it to appear to be the outdoors, then I would use this one. But I want it to appear to be the indoors, 
looking out. And this just this side just kind of reminds me of old timey wallpaper for some reason. Thankfully, we didn't have wallpaper quite that bright, but <laughs> we did have some pretty wild wallpaper back in the 70s, and my mama was a wallpaper fan. Now, before I do this, I'm going to bring in my um, silicone mat because I don't want my other mat to get dirty. These silicone mats are amazing. If you get glue on it, it just rubs right off. Okay. So I've got that in place and I'll put this on in a little bit. Let's go to our stamping now. So the next thing that we're going to do is, and I don't want to glue this in place in case I mess up, but I want to just kind of put it where I feel like it needs to go. And I'm going to take a pencil and I'm just going to lightly put some borders here that I can erase like that. Okay, now that I have my uh, parameters in place. I'm going to bring in my stamp with the um, turkey, little Tom Turkey, and I'm just going to ink him up. Let me stamp on here real quick. Yeah, so ink him up a little bit, and I don't want him to be all the way down here to the bottom, so I'm just going to place him right there about the middle. Not quite middle, but Oh, he's so cute. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna color him. And um, I'll tell you what I'm doing as I'm doing it. Um, I actually colored it this way on my last video. So um, I'm going to go ahead and put in some of the darker colors and, and I'm gonna add different colors and then I'll blend it all together with my um, crumb cake. All right, so here we go. Okay, um, you'll notice that I used blue and um, yellow and a variety of colors in there. And the reason I did that, I wanted to, well, you know, like whenever a um, birds, whenever they, uh, when the light shines on their feathers, it kind of has an iridescent sort of look. That's kind of what I was going for. And so um, I just blended it all in there together and now I'm just going to erase those little pencil marks. Now one thing I've already done is I took a post-it note and I stamped my turkey on the post-it note and it still has a little bit of the, the goo on it so you're just going to place it over the turkey like that and I'll hold it while I'm, I'm stamping in my sheaths of wheat. Um, but this technique is called masking and what happens is you can you when you have an, something that you want to be in the forefront and you want things to be in the background then you you stamp what you want in the forefront first and then you can mask it with just a post-it note or something like that and then it allows you to stamp over it and it won't affect it so i'm doing first and second generation stamping here because I just want it to look like there's um, wheat coming back behind him. Okay, now look what happens when I take that off. Isn't that cool? I did get a little bit of wheat up under his feet, but um, that's okay because I'm sure that there, that there would be wheat under his feet anyway. Right. Okay, I'm bringing in my Cajun craze, and I'm just going to stamp here first to make sure that I have good coverage and that it's even. And then I'm just going to come over. There we go. Happy Thanksgiving. So now I'm going to assemble my card. And um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp one more thing on the inside of it, and it's going to say 
from our family to yours. And what I want to do, because I want to make sure it's lined up, I like to use the grids of my paper. And sometimes with the cling mount, it's easy to, to get the, um, the label on crooked. So then you have to kind of go by the, what the stamp says instead of the label. So just to make sure, let me, let me check it out. Yes. Okay. So we're just going to put this right down here from our family to yours. And it looks like I, I put that a little crooked, but it's okay. It's handmade, not Hallmark, right? Okay, so let's glue this down. And you see how it went through on the back? It's because those markers, the blends are alcohol markers. I'll give you another tip, and I actually had this on my Facebook the other day. If you're using the alcohol blend markers, make sure that you are stamping with Memento Black ink. If you, um, are using water-based, um, like the Aqua Pen or the Glen Blender Pen, or the Stampin' Right markers, then you're going to want to use Stays On. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I love that. So then we're going to pop this up on the front here with dimensionals. So let's do that. Okay. Now we have this ring right here. We have this ring that we want to put around. So what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to bring in my silicone mat one more time. This silicone mat is amazing. Look at, watch this. Snail just rubs right up. So nothing will stick to it. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to just go around. Well, come on. I'm going to go around the edges of my frame with snail. And then I'm just going to bring this in. It's stuck to my fingers. Now the only thing about using snail and not Tombow is it's not quite as forgiving. So we're going to just place that right there on the edge of that window. And that's our card. I think I need to cut another one to go on the inside right there too because it looks like I did get it off just a little bit. Let's see if I can fix it really quickly before it's too late. Yeah. Well, you know what I'll do? I'll just do it again. I'll cut a piece of that and we'll fix that. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm basically going to do the same thing that I did. I'm going to flip it around this time, though. I'm going to use the colored edge on the inside of it. So the last thing I'm going to do with my pretty card is I'm going to put a few embellishments on it. And I thought that these copper embellishments would be perfect. So I'm going to use the larger one and I'm going to bring in my, my glue dots. I'm just going to lay it down on my glue dot up here and then pick it up and it'll take the glue dot with it. And I'm going to place it right up there. And then since I don't have as much space down here, I'm going to move my ribbon along, which that's another tip for you. Um, if you, uh, when, when you receive your glue dots, it comes in a box and it does not come with a ribbon around. It's just loose and it's really easy for it to come apart and just unwind. And so I just put a ribbon around it and I tie a, a, a bow and it's adjustable. So that way, um, and if you keep it loose enough, it's, it's really easy for it to slide. So I just tie a bow there. And then you just pull, pull it along as you need it. Or you can tighten it up if it gets loose. Isn't that a great tip? I learned that from Connie Stewart. Okay. That has got it for my card. And I love it. That Tom Turkey is so cute. And I love the, the um, 
sheaths of wheat that are behind it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video as well, um, including my little bl blunders. And you, and you can see it's, it's a little tricky, but it's not that hard to do. Um, and so I hope you will be inspired to try it yourself. Um, and I hope that you have a wonderful fall season. If you like this video, if you like this card, if you like the little tips that I gave you, then be sure to click subscribe. And if you really like it, hit the bell. And uh, if you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to be yours. And if you're looking for someone to, um, to work with, then I would love to have you on my team. Thanks and have a great day.